The question was, what was more important, value or cost? As I went through the cards and, and looked at your answers, 17 of you said that cost was more important, mm -hmm. while uh, 29 picked value as being more important, and 13 of you couldn't decide. All right, maybe couldn't decide was, was a strong term. Uh, most of the couldn't decides were actually saying that value and cost had equal importance. And uh, I kind of... Um, I kind of haven't decided myself which is more important, value or cost, because, uh, I mean, honestly, if, if there is insufficient value, the cost doesn't matter. So, so I think I tend to agree with the results here that, uh, that value is just a little bit more important than cost, but it's really hard to decide. The, uh, the question on the other side of the card was a little bit harder to categorize and go through and sort of uh, separate into groups. So what I want to do quickly is, is just read through some of the answers that you gave here, Rob. Uh, and so the, the question again was, what did you, the student, do to prepare for today's lecture? And so some of the answers I got was, I did the survey on my WPI. I got to class on time. I read the emails and I checked the website. I checked blackboard slash me1800.com and I read the lecture slides. I went to the website and I read what the class was going to go over this week and, and checked what the assignments were. This person wrote both answers on one side of the card. I'd say that value, nope, sorry. Um, I visited my WPI to check what the schedule for this week in ME1800 and I started taking the survey. The survey was due um, tonight at midnight. Okay, survey's not due yet. Uh, let's. Uh, to, uh, to get ready for the lecture, I started the first quiz. I showered and made coffee, and you know, coffee is important to get ready for lecture. What did I do to get ready for this lecture? I gathered my things and I came to class. I read some of the readings and I took the quiz. I read one of the posted readings and I took notes. Woo! Looked at the website to see what was expected this week. I read the in this this week in ME eighteen hundred post. I what did I do to get ready for this lecture? I skimmed some of the readings and the pre lab quiz, or maybe I did the pre lab quiz. It's not clear. Uh, I took the online quiz and I read the materials associated. What did you do to get ready for this lecture? I checked my WPI and ME eighteen hundred dot org for posts. Forgot to bring my name tag. Plus, do the quiz. The reading from the site and the pre-lab quiz. Skimmed over online resources posted. For the class, I read the syllabus and then I did all the assignments and preparation outline for the course sketch on the, sorry, for the class. I read the syllabus and then did all of the assigned reading and preparation outlined in the course syllabus. I got ready for this lecture first by checking the email to see if there was anything due prior to class. And then I had to set my notebook and so to class. Looked over the course website and I read the materials for the first online quiz. Started the survey, glanced at some of the readings. For this lecture, I started the reading assignment and looked over the ME website. Uh, looked at notes, checked for announcements. Made sure that I took the quiz survey and brought pencil and notebook open mind. And an open mind, it said. Um, I looked at the lecture and reviewed the material. I read the stuff and did the quiz. Learn more... Yeah, I don't know what that says. To get ready for the lecture, I went to my WPI and tried to read what was going to be about. I also ate breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Prepare for, to prepare for class, I slept eight hours and I showered. I also did the pre lab quiz and watched a lot of the posted videos. Uh, I've been preparing my whole life for this lecture. Wow. And you thought value was more important. I guess maybe that's true. I tried to do some of the weekly reading for the quiz. I read the schedule for what we're going to learn about over the weekend. For this lecture, 
I didn't do anything. And you know, I've had lectures like that and they never go as well as I thought they would. I looked at Blackboard and did a bit of reading. I got a bag, jacket, and shoes on. I did a quiz, brought my name tag to prepare for lecture. I read the link to the email that was sent and I gathered an idea of the topic. I looked at the class website and I read the assigned readings, read the stuff you posted, what I did to get ready for this class, ate, showered, walked to class. I can't read your handwriting. Some of the homework in the reading. I read the article on lean manufacturing. I read the syllabus. I reviewed M1800 website. I looked over the PowerPoint Lean Manufacturing Review to 1800.com. I looked through the website, made sure I had the materials I needed to bring, read this week's schedule, reviewed weekly plans, reviewed materials, quiz zero in the survey, read M1800, read some articles, looked on the website, watched and read the week's content, got ready doing homework, got sleep, took safety quiz. Took quizzes, did ho Wasn't the safety quiz due last week? That was for part of the week zero quiz, which happened five days ago, I think. Yeah, this guy started some of the readings, and this person did some of the quizzes and the homework. So, as I mentioned in class, what I did to get ready for the lecture is I watched a video of me giving this lecture in a past term. And, and also, I thought about the content and I reviewed the slides. Um, I spent about three hours preparing for this lecture, just for the, for the talking part of it. And, and I expect you to spend some time, maybe not three hours, and you know, I'll admit, I won't spend three hours every time preparing for the lecture because sometimes I have other things to do also. But, but I do expect you to come to lecture prepared, and I expect you to be thinking about the topic that we're going to talk about in that lecture, because quite honestly, I could talk to you like this, and I could feed you material, but you'll never learn anything if I do that. And the only way you're going to learn something is if you bring something to the class and you want to learn. Anyway, this has been a lot of fun for me. I'll see you tomorrow in class.